What I'd like to do here is to create a range mask which would begin to separate the galaxy from the background sky. To do that, I have the range selection tool panel open and I'm going to engage a real-time preview. When this comes up, all I see is a sea of white. That's because our lower and upper bound are basically eliminating everything. What I'd like to do is drop out the background sky, so taking the lower limit and beginning to lift that should do what I want to do. And as I bring it up, you can see we're now narrowing down and isolating the background from the rest of the image. I can take it down pretty far to the point where I've thrown away too much and I don't have a good uh, mass that covers the galaxy. So I'll bring this back a little bit. Somewhere probably right around in there is not half bad. Uh, the upper limit could also be adjusted and I can see what it does. In this case, what I'm really doing is throwing out those pixels that have higher values. And since I really want to keep those, there's no point in adjusting this. I'm going to leave this pegged at the upper uh, upper, upper limit. Uh, we also have the fuzziness and the smoothness sliders in here. This is pretty much a binary image and has very rough transitions. I'd like to smooth that out a little bit. So I'll probably bring up uh, fuzziness just a little bit. And then I'll take the smoothness factor. And as I increase that, you can see I'm starting to smudge out the edges and smudge out the finer detail. And I'll probably leave that somewhere about like that. If I'm happy with that, I'm pretty much done here. I can stop my work with the live preview, get rid of that. Now I'm ready to pull the triangle onto the image and execute. At this point, I now have a pretty good range mask, which is isolating the galaxy from the background. I could do some further steps on it to eliminate some of the stars here, and we'll talk about that later on. 